I'm Michael Hall, founder of Hall Gauge. Hall Gauge is a small device that plugs in the diagnostic port underneath your dash. It sends data via Bluetooth to your phone. The Hall Gauge app can tell you your vehicle's mass, payload, hung weight, in weight, and other features that we're working on for the future. Now this may seem like magic that you can get the vehicle's weight with a little device that's under your dash. But it's actually quite simple. It's based on the principles of force equals mass times acceleration. The origin of this technology comes from work that I did at Chrysler over 10 years ago. I was working in a new field called sensor fusion, where we were taking pressure, temperature, speed sensors, and accelerometer data, and combining these signals in algorithms to come up with novel new features. One of the main properties we were trying to come up with was mass. So how could we weigh the vehicle with the sensors that were already on board? We were doing this by calculating the drive force and monitoring the acceleration. So you can imagine this is like taking a scale that works on a vertical force and the acceleration being 1G and turning it on its side and calculating the force, drive force of the vehicle as it accelerates and monitoring the acceleration. So for this method to give us vehicle weight, we needed to have the effort from the powertrain on the road. And what we were using at the time was an engine torque model. So we were taking the properties of the air, the fuel, the spark, and what was happening in the engine, and then modeling down the line through the transmission and the drive line to the wheels to calculate what the drive force was. For acceleration, we used the onboard accelerometer. Any vehicle that has stability control has a longitudinal accelerometer built into it. The challenge that we had by using a powertrain model was all the different variables that can go into that. You have uh, altitude or different fuel, or if somebody turns on the air conditioner, that changes how much of the power from the engine is getting to the road. So that's when I began to look down the line. What other parts in the drive line uh, could I use to sense what the drive force was? That's when I started experimenting with the torque converter. Now the torque converter is downstream of the engine, so whatever accessory loads are, fuel, altitude, these problems I have, that was gone because we were downstream of that. So if you aren't familiar with the torque converter, this is how it works. Uh, one side, the pump or impeller, is attached to the engine, and it's always going to be turning with the engine. The other side, the turbine, it's attached to the input shaft of the transmission and then on to the axle and to the wheels. So if we assume that we're starting out, let's say zero to 10 miles an hour, we can assume we're in first gear. So we have a fixed relationship between the wheels of the vehicle and the turbine. So when we come to a stop, the engine's gonna be idling, and so the pump or impeller is gonna be running, the turbine will be stationary. As the driver accelerates, the engine's gonna speed up, and then the turbine is gonna start to move as the vehicle accelerates. The hull gauge algorithm is looking at the flip across this converter. We're using the torque converter as our load cell. If we know the speed of both sides, then we can calculate what the torque is on down the line to the wheel and know what the force is uh, that's driving the vehicle. The torque converter also proved to be a very good element to model. It was very consistent from vehicle to vehicle and also across the age of the vehicle, across temperatures, I also found that the signals that I needed to monitor the torque converter were available on the public side of onboard diagnostics. So this way I'd be able to apply my model to any vehicle that was built since 1996. The torque converter model that I came up with is very unorthodox. I'm not using the K-factor like I learned in school and the different models that we did there. Um, it was a machine learning um, regression model that I used to model the converter. And that's really what made it possible for us to get something accurate enough that would work at very low speeds. The old models that I had worked on had only worked at 20 miles an hour and up. And at 20 miles an hour and up, you don't get very high drive force. At very low speeds though, even grandma driving can get really high loads. So imagine right when you let off the brake as the vehicle creeps forward, you'll hit a tenth of a G and pretty high drive force. So, by making a model that would be accurate in that region from zero to 10 miles an hour, we'd be able to get the response of the algorithm much quicker. So now you could know the mass of the vehicle while you still could do something about it. 
instead of being miles down the road within your own driveway. To determine acceleration, we have an onboard accelerometer on our device. The torque converter tells us our drive force. The accelerometer tells us our acceleration. With both of those, we can calculate the weight of the vehicle, everything in it, and anything attached. So the technology we've been discussing thus far is for weight. For the other features like tongue weight, payload, and pin weight, those are utilizing a different principle, which is vehicle pitch. We're using the accelerometer on board our device to figure out the pitch of the vehicle and using a suspension model that we've created, we can then calculate those measures. Because Hallgate is an app, our engineering team is able to make improvements and add features. We're adding features for every towing situation that you're gonna face so that you can tow safe.